Hey guys, back in the shop with the E-Flight Viper 90 converted to turbine build series. This is video series episode number eight. Today we're going to talk about the battery that I use for the E-Flight Turbine Viper and uh, where we place that battery and the modification that we do to the aircraft to make that battery fit. So without further ado, well, let's get started. All right, guys, we have our uh, battery installation uh, modification here. We use the uh, Thunder Power Rampage 1800 milliamp battery. It's a 2S 70C battery. It is the only battery that goes inside this Viper. Uh, we run everything off of this battery. The engine, the, uh, the brakes, the smoke pump, and also the, the flight uh, controls. So one battery, we charge every flight. So the reason we use it is it's compact and it opens up a lot of real estate for other components in the aircraft. So the position this battery goes in is in the front end of the airplane. So it slides into this area right here. And again, it opens up all of this uh, real estate for all of the other components. The modification we have to do is we have to cut this hole in this slot inside the front of that fuselage. So in this video, we're gonna show you exactly the process that I do to cut that hole out. All right, guys, I'm just using a, to cut this uh, front nose piece off here. We're gonna re, uh, remove that so we'll have access to putting that hole in the fuselage. I just take a typical knife, razor knife here, and we just chop that nose right off and I'll show you how we do that. I just go real right against the piece there and I just go down, it's brand new so it's really sharp and I just cut it right through there. Again, it's just to get it out of the way and it's gonna be glued right back on in the exact same position. Oops, there we go. So that's what it looks like. So it's a nice smooth cut and it gives us access to uh, putting that hole in there. The tool I'm going to use to cut this out is uh, I just take a hacksaw blade and I and I put a sharp end on the uh, on the end here and it's super easy to use. So I just go down and I use the uh, the platform here uh, of this area to go into that fuselage. So I just go straight in side the fuselage and keep it straight and that pushes all the way forward until it comes out the other end. And I kind of use a a little bit of a hacksaw um, back and forth to uh, cut into that foam. Um, so as I come through, you can see on the other side here how it looks when I come through. So now you can see I'm coming through the, uh, coming right through there and as I get it in position, I'm making a, a nice slot right there for that battery hatch to uh, there, there I come through, got it through, and then I cut it all the way across where I think it's going to need to go. And once I get it in there where I like it, that's going to be the the range right there where that slot is the bottom of the uh, the battery slot. All right, guys. Once I get the the blade boundary set, I use a uh, I use a sharpie to uh, draw that line and uh, I just take a sharpie like this and uh, draw that line in there and put it on the other side and get it lined up inside here and that's going to be kind of my my floor boundary line so we're going to go up right here and right here to make that vertical cut so that's that's what we're doing right now is setting that line in position and then I can make that I can make that cut using the blade and uh, okay come around so I'm going to use the the blade here and I'm going to just go in vertically um, right here and just cut that slot and cut this slot right here should get us pretty close and once that's in there and that's pretty much the width of the battery too so that's that this blade works out pretty well and also there this is hollow inside here 
So you break through right here, and then it's a hollow cavity inside here. So you're just punching through that also. So I think we're, I think we're pretty close in there. I can feel it anyway, pretty close. And um, get that slot cut in there. Once that goes in, then we're in. So now I, I just need to make the cut going across. Um, same kind of deal. We're just gonna we're just gonna go in. And sometimes I'll use a uh, a sharper knife. I'll take just a regular cutting knife because these are a little thinner and a little sharper, and they make a nice clean cut. And then I'll follow it using the uh, using the hacksaw blade. But you can just see how I just did that right there. I'm gonna use this to kind of go through that. Again, that cavity in there is is kind of hollow. I'll go in there and cut that in, cut that in, and I should just about be ready to punch through there. I'm gonna kind of go in here, clean that in, and feel like it. I feel like I'm in there. Yeah, I feel like I'm in there. So. Anyway, you can kind of see, I can just push that through the other side, but that's the beginning rough cut of our slot. All right, I'm just gonna come in from the uh, front here. I'm just gonna push this guy out of there. There's that little guy. So that's a little piece we cut out right there. So now the hole is a little tight. You can see right there, it's a little snug for the battery. So we just have to open it up a little bit. So I can take my little um, saw blade in there and just push those pieces pieces out and uh, until we get till we get it where we uh, where we want it and we'll get an idea how that battery's shaping up to fit it's a little it's a little tight right now so I do have to come in here on the sides a little bit and open up the sides but I can I can almost force it in there but you don't want to do that to a battery so so I'll go in and I'll I'll try to uh, open up the, the the slot just a little bit to clear to clear that out and uh, we'll, uh, as we do that again it, it just takes a little bit of a little bit of uh, cutting and a little bit of positioning that uh, cleaning that foam out and once you get that cleaned out uh, I'll show you in a few minutes how that battery just slips right in there all right guys we got our hole cleaned out here it took me about 15 minutes uh, to uh, trim that hole out a little bit at a time and until I got the battery to fit really uh, just snug as a bug in a rug right there. So when you slide the battery in, um, it goes right in. It's just a snug fit, and that's, that's how we want it to look and how we want it to position. Now on the other side, the battery, when it's positioned all the way in, comes right up to the end there. And you can see how um, it can exit out that hole, but we're not gonna do that. We're gonna have it come out right flush. And the end cap here that we cut off to make that hole, we're going to glue that right back where it was. We're going to put some uh, foam tack or CA glue in there, and we're going to glue that right back in that position. And now this becomes the backstop for the battery. So when you're pushing your battery in to go fly, you just push it up till it stops, and you know you're in your far forward position is exactly where we want it. So now you're in perfect CG, all the weights up front, and um, gluing this back on is all we have. Hey guys, thanks for watching this episode of the Lightspeed Air Show. We'd like to encourage you to please like and subscribe. These videos are a helpful tool for us to engage our audience. If you want to know more information about our STEM elementary school assembly program, go on our website, lightspeedairshow.com. From the human side of STEM, we'll see you on the next video. Thank you.